Hello and welcome to Mystic Mia Tarot. This is a reading for the Sagittarius Collective. It is a timeless reading. Whenever you come to it is the perfect time for you to hear the messages relayed. The artwork in the frame is original. If interested, please see information in the description box. There are uh, deliberate items in the frame as well. There are some crystals to represent earth, a candle to represent fire, flowers to represent air, and water in the vase to represent water. This reading is meant to be heard as opposed to watched. So please bear that in mind. If there is a card that I wanna point out to you uh, during the reading, I'll let you know that I'm showing a card. Otherwise, the frame will not change. And if this reading resonates, please like, comment, share, subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. I've already pre-shuffled a few different decks and laid out a Celtic cross. We're going to start with the card to represent the person currently on your mind. It could be their possible astro sign or um, it could be in their placements. And it will also set the tone for our reading today. The card that I pulled is the Hierophant. So you may be dealing with a Taurus. This is the Gentle Thrills Tarot. So along with uh, Taurus, the Hierophant also represents commitment and it represents morality and uh, beliefs and tradition. So perhaps the person on your mind is traditional. Uh, perhaps they are considering committing to you or you're considering committing to them. And morality may be an issue uh, that you don't fully align on. And it, be, it could be posing some issues. If you've come to tarot, it's usually due to some sort of discord in your romantic life. Excuse me, just a second. I'm hoping the, uh, the noise of my pellet stove will diminish. Just turned it down a little bit. So um, anyway, Maybe you don't have the same religion or uh, maybe one of you is old fashioned and the other is more modern thinking. And while you may be very attracted to one another, these issues are important and shouldn't be ignored because eventually they will come up. And the longer you're in something, the harder it is to get out of it, right? So. Anyway, let's get into the Celtic cross. Uh, I did a, a nice shuffle because I actually pulled the temperance card for the present position, which is your card, Sag. So I feel like it was an accurate shuffle. And um, it is temperance, but it is in reverse. So maybe you're feeling imbalanced maybe these uh, differences of um, moral beliefs are kind of giving you pause when it comes to this person and causing a lack of long-term vision. And also maybe this connection isn't uh, being supported by the universe. Usually when the temperance card is upright, it's like the angel above is holding the two cups. The two cups um, is a card of union in tarot. So it's like divinely blessed, a divinely blessed connection. But in reverse, maybe the universe is not supporting this union. And it may be due to the differences in morality. So you're crossed by the Page of Cups. So this is a card of 
an immature love offer. And so again, it's like, I think that a lot of times, um, especially if you're dealing with a younger person, maybe you are, they're uh, just excited and they're not really thinking about the long term and um, they may offer love, but it could be, uh, you know, lacking foresight and it may be kind of full of hot air, so to speak. And it could be driven by lust somewhat um, and just, uh, you know, sometimes hormones get in the way of better judgment. But you are crowned by the Empress. So there could be some growth possible between you and your person because the empress is the mother earth card of the tarot deck she is the pregnant beautiful mother mother earth and so growth is possible uh, and i also want to mention that at the bottom of the deck when i put it down the emperor showed up so that is a divine pair, the Empress and the Emperor. And so perhaps there is potential for this relationship uh, if you can work out your differences. In the distant past, you have the moon in reverse. So maybe you were feeling um, unhappy in the past and uh, feeling like you were in the in a state of confusion or illusion um, and so you know perhaps when you first started seeing this person you were in the dark um, and didn't quite know where you stood and in the recent past, you have the Hierophant reversed. So this is a repeating card. We have the Hierophant to start with, and now we have it again. And so again, it's sort of talking about um, a difference in beliefs, and that has been coming up for you too. And it could be challenging. Or maybe you're asking them to challenge the status quo and you're asking them to be a little bit more forward thinking if they're the traditional one. And in the future position, you have the six of wands in reverse. So unfortunately, it's, this is a failure. And so maybe these um, differences in, in your religious beliefs or just moral beliefs will ultimately cause some sort of failure in the future of this relationship. Uh, there could be a fall from grace. Maybe they are falling from grace in your eyes uh, because of you know, the differences that you two share. I know that political beliefs are very polarizing at times and can lead to the demise of relationships. And we just went through the pandemic a few years ago and that became a very polarizing issue. So if you, for instance, are like, um, let's, I mean, it's sort of a derogatory term, but if you were, say, an anti-vaxxer and you didn't like masks and then you met somebody who was very pro-vaccination and pro-masking, you know, how do you navigate that? How do you kind of overcome that? One of you has to compromise, and if neither is willing to, it could lead to a failure. Um, I'm just using an, an example. 
Some signs on the table so far, aside from the ones I already mentioned, are Taurus, Pisces, Taurus again, and Leo. So you have a lot of Taurus so far. In your environment, you have the Three of Cups, and this is in reverse, which often indicates the uh, affair card. So perhaps there's a third party situation going on between um, maybe for you or for them, and maybe that's the cause of the um, moral dilemma. Uh, so maybe uh, you are in a situation, Sag, where you are still involved with your ex in some way. And even though you are broken up, um, you still have some sort of tie. Maybe you have children together. Um, maybe you even live together. Uh, and it is sort of an unconventional situation. And your person sees this very uh, in a very black and white way um, as you're just, you know, you're still involved with your ex. And they don't want to be involved in a third party. They don't want to be the, the other person. Um, remember, roles can be reversed. And, and this is all just um, <laughs> me kind of making scenarios up. It could be different. Maybe you have a very close best friend, Sag. Sagittarians are extremely friendly people. Um, they're like the puppy dogs of the, the zodiac wheel and uh, are often uh, the life of the party and surrounded by friends. And so maybe your person sees your, um, you know, your, all the friendships that you have and feel a little threatened by it and maybe feel like some of your friendships with the opposite sex may cross the line. And um, I don't know. So you can see where I'm going here. There's a, a suspicion of third party. How your person seeing you is the Knight of Swords. So they see you as someone who is opinionated and uh, perhaps you're very opinion and opinionated about your beliefs and like you feel that they're being old fashioned and theirs. Uh, you, they could see you as being a bit hasty and maybe they don't like it. Maybe they wish you would be a little bit more uh, methodical and relaxed. Um, the Knight of Swords is the fat, one of the fastest moving energies in the deck. So they see you as kind of moving quickly. And maybe this is um, a little bit too quickly for their taste. Maybe they want to take things slow so that they can think about how, you know, you guys have these differences in beliefs and ponder what to do about them. In your hopes or fear position, you have the page of pentacles. So we go from one of the fastest moving energies to one of the slowest um, with the pentacle energy. And so maybe you fear that this will go so slowly that it will come to a stop. And uh, maybe, you know, you're, you're hoping that your person is willing to learn um, and work through your differences. The Page of Pentacles is the student of the tarot as well. And, you know, willing to maybe learn something about your traditions and your family. Um, but it could be a fear that once they do learn that the differences will be so great that there will be a failure. In your outcome, you do have the Seven of Cups, which is a card of confusion or choices. So it looks like um, you may feel some confusion right now, Sag, about what to do. Uh, 
about your person. Like we said earlier, we have a divine pair with the emperor and the empress. Um, but sometimes, you know, these outside influences are too much for the, the relationship to handle. And the, even with such a good connection, it does have the potential to fail. And so you may feel confused about what to do. And then alternately, you may have some other choices as well um, that you're pondering that may not be as difficult as the one that, you know, the one that's taking the forefront of your mind right now. We're going to clarify a little bit more uh, with another deck. Uh, I have my Necronomicon deck. And some other signs that I see are Cancer, Late Capricorn, Early Aquarius, which is actually where we're at right now on the calendar, and Scorpio. So we're going to get your the energy of the person on your mind towards you, your energy towards them, and then the outcome of this energetic cycle, which we will say ends at the next full moon. I really thank you guys for being here. I love doing this, and it is just a joy. I know you guys just had a birthday. Um, so happy birthday. Hope it was awesome. Some famous Sagittarians are Brittany Spears, Jim Morrison, um, I'm blanking. try to think of another one but let me let me lay out the cards here so I don't get too distracted oh I thought of one Scarlett Johansson god she's stunning right Some repeating energy. get stuck together a little bit. I don't know why. Okay. So in their energy towards you, they are, they're struggling right now. They have the nine of books, which is the nine of swords, the up all night um, anxiety um, overthinking card. They also feel confused with the moon, which is a repeating card. They feel like they're in the dark. In this deck, I'm showing the card right now. It's a pretty cool card. It's called Madness, and there's like all these um, kind of spirits in the water. So maybe they're feeling a little bit insane. They don't know what to do about you. And they feel a bit heartbroken with the Three of Books, which is the Three of, of Swords. And uh, in this card, the books are burning, so maybe they're trying to let you go. Maybe those differences are just too hard for them to kind of wrap their mind around. But in your energy, you have the Ten of Beakers, which is the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Torches or the Three of Wands. So you can see a happily ever after with this person with the Ten of Cups. 
you can see it. You, you, um, even, you know, despite the differences that you have, you feel like you want a new beginning with this person with the eight of pentacle, ace of pentacles. You want to commit to them. You feel like they are, um, a rare jewel with this card. I'll show it. Looks like a rare type of jewel. And you feel like they're your ship come in with the three of wands. Like, this is who you've been waiting for. In the outcome, you have uh, the hanged man, the king of books or swords, and the king of torches or wands. So two kings, sort of interesting. We did talk about choices before. And um, so you're in a state of suspension. Maybe you don't know which way things are going to go. Um, this card is called sacrifice in this deck. So maybe you're, you're going to need to sacrifice some of your own uh, beliefs in order to make it work with this person. Uh, you have the King of Swords, which is a no-nonsense truth teller. So um, maybe that's how you're approaching uh, your person, like you're trying to tell the truth and be honest. Um, and you know, you see vision with the King of Wands, like you see a future. Conversely, it could be that you're, you're having to choose between someone who's very pragmatic and someone who's very fiery. Um, because like I said, we do have two people here. And, or maybe it's, this is you and your person, you know, gender doesn't, you know, is fluid in tarot. So it could be that one of you um, is very committed to, you know, honesty and integrity. That could be your person. And you're committed to passion and, um, you know, doing what feels good. Um, and maybe you do have a, an unconventional situation where there's some, you know, your ex may still be involved with you in some way um, or you have very close friendships with the opposite sex and you know it's like your person is having trouble wrapping their mind around that because of their traditional values so I feel like that was sort of an inconclusive outcome um, it does say that you'll be in suspension. So I'm just gonna pull one more card just to see um, if we can get a little bit more clarity on this situation by the next full moon. How will it be when these two come together? The fool. Okay, that helps. So it looks like, you know, you'll be willing to like take that leap of faith and step off the cliff. So that's great. It looks like a new beginning. The fool is the zero card of the tarot. All right, we're going to gain a little bit more clarity using Bibliomancy. I will open randomly to a page in my book by John Updike called Couples. So please quiet your mind, think of a question, and I will open randomly. Oh, don't be so superstitious, Foxy interrupted. And then this monstrous performance with Thorn. Angela asked him, how can you judge? 
as Pete says, in context, it was the most merciful thing. Pete told him, she wrote me long letters all summer saying how much she loved you. But even as he pleaded, he knew it was no use and took satisfaction in this knowledge for he was loyal to the God who mercifully excuses us from pleading, who nails his joys of judgment down firm and roofs the universe with order. Okay, so hopefully that resonated. It's interesting how it me- it mentioned God because, you know, we've been talking about morality and aligning with beliefs. So if, um, if you'd like, you know, you can always uh, kind of rewind and re-listen and see if anything kind of sticks out to you there, Sag. Um, I did pull a card to represent the person on your mind, what they may look like, what their profession may be, or certain traits that might resonate. And I use my Celebrity Love Oracle deck. The card that I pulled is, and I'm showing it right now, Edward VIII. So it could be, um, you know, someone who's well-dressed, uh, could have dark hair, and um, pale skin. There are a couple other people in the card, so this could, you know, indicate third-party situation. It looks like there's two men and one woman. So maybe, um, you know, if you're a woman, you have two different men in your life, Sag. One of them is um, sort of dressed in a costume and the other is dressed very conservatively. One of the men has like a blonde hair and pale skin and the other has dark hair and the woman has dark hair and pale skin. And I believe that Edward VIII was um, in the monarchy. So maybe your person has a very prominent position um, or has a God complex. (laughs) Hopefully not. That's a sign of a narcissist. Um, Anyway, the card itself says one night can follow you for the rest of your life. A king is nothing without the woman he loves and make your own kingdom and choose your own family. So I'm not really that sure about Edward VIII. Um, or or his story, but I'm sure if you Google him, you could find out more info. We're going to finish off our reading with a yes or no question to my crystal ball. Sometimes the answer takes a few tries. Um, I really do appreciate you being here, Sag. Uh, If this reading has resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. The artwork in the frame is um, for sale. If interested, see info in the description box. And with all that being said, please quiet your mind. Think of the question and I will ask Crystal. My sources say no. My sources say no. Okay. Well, um, I would like to um, thank you one more time. (laughs) And until the next reading, may the source be with you.